So we're back to talk about this news that Draymond Green reportedly wants a max extension with two years left on his deal. And a small part of the reason I've been away is honestly because so much of the NBA news just seems like it's just some bull jive they're making up to stay in the conversation. One minute, Kyrie Watts out of Brooklyn. They're going to send him over to the Lakers. Next minute, Kyrie Watts to stay. It's just so much different stuff that they're throwing out there. I feel like... Man, I'll get back to business when some real star stuff starts happening again. Miss me with all these rumors, all these new teams that want Kevin Durant, all that. But, with this one, it does kind of feel like something that Draymond Green would put out there that he wants a max deal. And before I get to what the Warriors should do with that, whether he deserves that, let's talk about the Warriors as a whole because... They're just entering an interesting period where Clay Thompson is going to be needing a deal. He's on a max deal right now, pretty much. Or I think it literally is. Andrew Wiggins is going to be coming up for a deal. And Jordan Poole as well. And technically, they could pay all of these guys. You know, they would just have to pay a luxury tax. And my first instinct is, hey, winning all these rings, it's got you getting a load of money. Your franchise is worth $5.5 billion. Just pay whatever it takes. But even though you technically can pay them whatever... When you look a little deeper into it, paying them all the max deals would add up for their t payroll to be like $500 million, which I'm all for owners. Pay what it takes, but $500 million per season, even when you're a franchise worth $5.5 billion, that's a lot of money to give up. And I, and I, think, I honestly think it's fair to say that that's not realistic because the owners already are paying the highest payroll there is. And... When it comes to the deals, I think it's time for the Warriors to move towards the younger guys. Not saying let Clay Thompson, Draymond Green leave, but I think you need to have the real conversation to where, Clay, we paid you a max deal, and you've referenced this publicly after you had a torn ACL and then, and then after a torn Achilles. We gave you the max contract. If anything, you could take a little bit of an underpay now because we did that for you then. And it wouldn't be an underpay for Klay Thompson to take less than a max deal if you've watched the way, the way he's played the past year because he's coming off a torn ACL and torn Achilles. He's not worth that anymore based on his play. But being the competitor that he is, the prideful guy that any great NBA player would be, you would have to phrase it in that way and say, take the underpay now, take the pay cut. And with Klay Thompson, I don't think there should be too much of an issue with that happening because like I just said, he's referenced it publicly. He said it himself that, how grateful he is that the Warriors would give him that money after that. I think there's that goodwill with Klay Thompson. He's a chill guy to where it's like, you know, I'm not going to take $5 million a year, but, you know, pay me $20 million a year. It's less than less than the max. I'll be fine. I'll sit back. I'll chill. $18, 20000000 million. Fine. Pay that money to Andrew Wiggins, who's in, who's in his prime and was the second best guy on our playoff run. And Jordan Poole, who is 23 years old and was balling out in some big playoff moments, hitting some absolutely insane shots. So... If I'm the Warriors, that's the way you would hope to go, especially knowing that Wiseman's going to need to get paid at some point. We'll see what he ends up being worth. Kaminga eventually, Moses Moody. You're going to have to start to build a framework to where it's like, Draymond, we can't keep paying you max deals for the rest of your career because this whole franchise, we haven't built it to be super duper reliant on you, Clay, and Stefan anymore. We've also actually built quite a young squad coming up around you guys. And Draymond Green, now that I've talked about that I would want to pay Wiggins pool and ask Clay to uh, take the pay cut, when it comes to Draymond Green, there's not a shot in the world I'm giving him a max deal. One, because nobody in the league would give Draymond a max deal. Now, I'm someone that, in Draymond's prime, give him the max. Because when he was in those first two years of the Warriors run, before Kevin Durant got there... That man, I almost felt like it was disrespectful when people were comparing him to like Ben Wallace and even like Dennis Rodman because that man was the best defender in the league, was shooting threes at like a 40% clip, and was also playmaking at an elite level. That man was absolutely elite. And anyone that knows basketball knows how much value that guy had. But this Draymond just simply hasn't been the same since Kevin Durant got there. And after he's left, it hasn't gotten any better. If anything, it's gotten worse to where you can leave him completely wide open. And even defensively, I don't think he is quite as great as he was before Kevin Durant got there. I feel like maybe he took his foot off the gas. Maybe he just needed to be in the absolute peak physical prime to be able to pull a lot of these things off that he was able to do defensively. But I don't feel the same way as I did before Kevin Durant got there that you could just put him on any center in the league and he'll do a great job guarding him. I kind of feel like you need to get him at a great night and in a good matchup for you to really feel that Draymond Green de defense. Not to mention the fact that 
being able to shoot threes is only getting more important to be able to hit open threes. And he's only getting... I won't say he's getting worse at that, but it's reached a plateau to where he's not getting any better the last couple years. So with Draymond Green, he's still a valuable guy, but I don't even think he wants a expects to get a max deal. I think that's more so le- a leverage play in that he wants a lot of money. I, but I don't think he's actually expecting that he could get a max deal. And he knows he wouldn't get that anywhere. But what I would say about Draymond is, different from Clay, that I think that man is just looking for a chip on his shoulder to where I could potentially see him leaving the Warriors if he doesn't get a deal that he likes. Even if it's for like barely more money because I think he's petty in that way. I think he's like the one of the big three that's not like Warriors culture, let's go. Like He'll shake the boat. He'll cuss out Kevin Durant. He'll like take a lot of subtle shots at Steve Kerr throughout the years. There's a new one this week talking about, you know, laughing about Kevin Durant. Um, saying that you put Steve Kerr in pick and rolls. You know, that was like nothing, but it's just a lot of very subtle shots at Steve Kerr and at the Warriors organization to where it's not completely out of this world that he would ever leave. So with this Draymond Green situation, no shot you give him the max. No shot he even expects to get the max because no team in the world would give that to him. But if it's not something somewhat close, like I said with Klay Thompson, like $20 million, I do think that it's not 100% out of this world that he would ever leave the Warriors. So I think what's going to end up happening is he gets a nice deal. He's getting paid $26 million right now. Maybe something close to that around there, $24 or $25 million. But I'm assuming the front office is going to have this conversation with Clay and Draymond and say, look, we want to keep the dynasty going. You know how great these young guys can be. You've said it yourself. We're going to have to pay these guys. We paid you a lot of money over the years. We just need you to take just 20 something million, Not like the 30 something that you're eligible to get. Eligible to get. But just wanted to drop this video about that. Sorry that I took a week off from my videos. It's the off season. I'm dealing with three jobs and I've had a concussion to where maybe if this wasn't my best content, most clear, precise, it's because I'm trying to get back into things, you know, looking at the lights and everything. I do feel a little bit off again, but I appreciate all y'all supporting. I'm going to drop the link if y'all want to support some more. I'm trying to get back into the rhythm and hopefully this gets me going back on the everyday grind. Definitely when the NFL season starts, I'm going to be back on the NFL grind. Might drop that link to my NFL channel in here too. Barrett Low NFL. Check the comments. Make sure you hit that like, comment, subscribe. Please. Yes, sir.